My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We have a genuine Bel Air V8 55 Chevy sitting right here and it's got all sorts of good stuff. Air condition, power steering, power disc brakes. It's been body off the frame restored. Although it's not perfect, it's a good looking solid car. Go to volocars.com, that's where you can read all the specs, study all the pictures top to bottom. And that's where you'll find the price, not only on this one, but we have a few hundred collector cars all for sale. Visit volocars.com. If you enjoy watching the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, and you'll be notified as the new videos are posted. But right now, join me. Let's go for a spin in this 55 Bel Air. Yeah, bought this car down south. Uh, it was body off the frame restored. It has all new body bushings. The front end looks like it's been gone through. It has uh, a new sway bar was added to it, new shocks, and just miscellaneous new parts. The hardware looks very recent. Um, you look up at the motor, it's real clean. It has a 700 R4 uh, overdrive automatic transmission, custom drive shaft, the original rear end with 355 gears. The fuel system's new, the tank's nice and shiny, has new straps, new sending unit. The brake system's been gone through, it has disc in front, the emergency brake cable system looks like it's hooked up. It also has a recent dual exhaust, it's all welded at the seams and it has cherry bomb style mufflers and you'll hear what it sounds like towards the end of this video we'll fire it up uh, and the underneath looks really solid the floors the braces uh, from what i can see there are no patches it just looks like a good old solid underside uh, underneath this 55 chevy the body is really nice you walk up to it it's actually amazing i've been walking past this car the last couple of weeks we've had it and it looks like a perfect $100,000 car. Upon inspection, it's not perfect, but still looks great. The worst of it is right here. Uh, there's some cracking in the paint and a little piece of it flaked off and they touched it up. But this is all real uh, high gloss and bright, bright white, bright red. And it's smooth and glossy. The hood fits real nice. It's straight up on top. The uh, eyebrows here is nice and clean. The bird looks new, the emblem looks new, the grill and the bumper looks like if it was replaced probably years ago, it's straight, it's shiny, but it's not brand new. The moldings, all the stainless, those are either new or someone had them straightened and polished, but all the stainless moldings are all really sharp, emblems are shiny, door fits real nice. I did not feel or see any bubbles. This is all smooth, it's all clean metal around here. Those are 17 inch chrome Riddler wheels. Uh, it's got a little bit of a rake to it. You can see the way they have the suspension adjusted. Side glass looks really nice. The rear glass is original and it has some light scratches. Uh, the interior is finished off real nice. It has a custom deck here with some, some pattern and some speakers. Trunk lid fits really nice all the way around. I don't see any cracks or issues. Like the front, the back bumper is shiny and straight. Uh, it's not brand new. Tail lights look real nice. And it has the little V's here. It's a V8 car. The interior, I don't think it's real leather, but it's a very, very good imitation leather. It even smells like leather. There is a chance I'm wrong, and it could be leather. I push down on it. It looks like leather. Uh, anyway, they did a nice job. They cushioned it real nice. I sat in the seat and it feels real good. And the door panels are all done to match. So someone did a really excellent job on the upholstery. Windshield's probably new. Actually has a 283 motor. And it's got an Edelbrock intake and carburetor. The whole front of the motor has that new... Uh, or more recent uh, all billet components, the brackets, the little mini AC compressor, the polished alternator, the pulleys, it has power steering, has the whole front system up here, the whole core support 
It all comes as one package, but the core support matches the aluminum radiator, which mas matches the AC condenser. Also has two big electric fans and a polished overflow bottle. I said it has a new windshield. There's a mark here. I don't know. It's actually rubbing off. So the carpets are real nice. Headliner and visors are like a suede material. It's in real nice shape. The door jams are painted really clean and tidy. The rubber's new. The latches look new. Sill plates are shiny. Inside the trunk, just nice clean metal, painted bright white, new weather strip, new mats, and new rear seat divider. The metal inside the car is painted red. Chrome uh, tilt column and all the levers are all matching. Real nice steering wheel. The chrome around the speedometer is original. It's shiny, but it's not new. It does have a gauge cluster down below the dash. The Vintage Air, they use the original style heater control panel. It looks stock, but they're modern. They're electric. They don't have the old cables to push anymore. And the vents are under the dash. There's a CD radio in the dash. So it's also got power brakes. It's all chrome, the master, the booster. Some nice looking thinned aluminum valve covers and oval air cleaner. Everything in here is really good. This is, this is a cruise night quality. You open the hood, it looks great. You could easily detail this up a little bit more, uh, polish some of the aluminum and clean up the intake in that if you really wanted to be fussy about it. It's got an HEI ignition system. But it's nice driver cruise night quality, I would call it. The window on that side, I went to roll it down. I thought the handle was broken off. It rolled so easy. Yeah, this one's the same way. It's just smooth as can be. So anyway, let's fire it up. I actually got this from a collector. He had a 56 and a 57 as well. Runs nice, you hear the electric fans. Snappy, responsive, idling a little high till it warms up. You can hear as it, as it idles down, it's got a bit of a cam. And I disengaged the choke when I revved it up. Got new horn. Once it warms up, she runs just beautifully. Nice, responsive. really nice car. It's not a $90,000 car. I just don't want people to get that impression, but I also don't want to feel like I'm beating up such a beautiful car here. It looks sharp, very comfortable inside, air conditioned, frame off, power steering, power disc brakes. This is a car you're going to turn heads, get compliments, but you can get in and drive, go wherever you want, go overnight with the car. It's a real V8 Bel Air. Go to volocars.com, plenty of ways to contact the salesman. I just gave you my honest impression of the car. But if you have specific concerns or questions, feel free to ask them. They'd be happy to answer. And uh, they'll also make shipping, uh, financing, and the paperwork real easy for you. Uh, so visit volocars.com if you're interested in this car or others we might have. If you just enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon and you'll be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.